Welcome to another Q&A episode here on OTRS Central Fast Lane, approaching this Sunday live on the WWE Network for free. Unless you're one of the suckers that are already subscribed and you have to pay $9.99 for it, then it was a perfect time to do a hashtag WWE Fast Lane Q&A episode. So here we go. Thanks to all of you that tweeted your questions to add OTRS Central on Twitter. Jack C. the Ripper asks, will WWE let the Reigns and Bryan match have a clean finish, or will we see a DQ and have a three-way at WrestleMania 31? I think the indications to me at this point are that we're more likely to see a three-way at WrestleMania than see a clean, decisive finish at Fastlane. Frankly, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. I don't know what they have planned. And sometimes that's a good thing, and sometimes it's not. I just don't envision... Uh, where the WWE thinks this is a good idea. I just can't see what their ultimate end game is here. Uh, let's see here. Antonio Monti. Do you think Daniel Bryan will carry Roman Reigns in the match, or do you think Reigns can showcase his in-ring potential? I think a little bit of both. I think Daniel Bryan's going to need to guide the match. He's going to need to lead the match, but there will be some opportunities for Roman Reigns to showcase what he can bring to the table. Um, I mean, he doesn't need to be Daniel Bryan in order to be effective as Roman Reigns, but I think it is an important spotlight showcase feature match here for Roman Reigns, uh, not just for now in WrestleMania, but for the future going forward. This is a chance to silence a lot of doubters. This is a chance to really shut up a lot of the so-called haters, and it's going to be up to him. The pressure is on him to step up and perform this Sunday. Dick Lonious Games, who do you think will turn heel, Cody or Goldust? And do we see a Reigns or Bryan turn at Fastlane? In terms of Cody or Goldust, I think we clearly have already seen that. Cody's the one turning heel. I'd have believed his promo on his dad on Raw would have indicated clearly, especially after he'd already turned on his brother, that he's the one turning heel. As far as Reigns or Daniel Bryan, you know, there's a lot of things that they're uh, positioning that make you think that Reigns is the one that's going to turn heel, but a lot of the things that are being done on the heel side are actually being committed by Daniel Bryan. So with that said, it could be one of them turns. It could be neither one of them turns. But if one turns, it just as might as well be Daniel Bryan. Take him from yes, yes, yes to being the ultimate yes man. <laughs> Fuck you, Bryan fans. You're going to be pissed about that one. Uh, or they could just be sending Sheamus at Daniel Bryan, and it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, let's see here. David Rivera. What do you think Triple H and Sting will have in store for Fastlane this Sunday? Uh, probably a segment that feels like it should belong on Raw. Honestly, that's what it's going to feel like. It's going to feel like a Raw promo segment on a pay-per-view. That's exactly what it's going to feel like. Especially to me, because again, I have zero fucks interest in seeing this match at WrestleMania 31. Mr. Tuxedo, are you disappointed that Goldust versus Stardust has been added to WWE Fastlane at the last moment instead of saved until Mania? Yes, a little bit. I saw some suggestions talking about, well, what if they did uh, Stardust versus Goldust at Fastlane, and then it was Cody versus Goldust at WrestleMania. I, I guess I could get behind that a little bit. But yeah, I, I think this match deserves WrestleMania. I think these two guys deserve that one-on-one -on -one match at WrestleMania. And I hope that them going to it at Fastlane isn't an indication that they won't go there at WrestleMania because they need to go there at WrestleMania. Um, let's see here. Sicky for life. Tattoos, ring boner, beard, or Cole's commentary. What are you most looking forward to if Orton returns? Pick one. Um, I mean, you're talking about the sleeve tattoos. You forgot the baby oil. Um, the, the construction worker beard, obviously. I don't know about Cole's commentary, why you would look forward to anything involving that at this point in time. I mean, but at the end of the day, man, the Raging Ring Boner is the Raging Ring Boner. And, you know, let's see what happens when he finds a gopher hole. That's got to be the thing you would think you'd be most looking to forward to about the return of the Viper, Randall Keith Orton. Uh, let's see here. The Doctor 2012 is WWE Fastlane, the worst name when it comes to WWE pay-per-views. I don't know if it's the worst. It stinks, but I don't know if it's the worst. I, just, I guess I get what they were going for with the whole Road to WrestleMania theme, but yeah, it doesn't work for me. I agree. It doesn't work for me. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Marky Babar. 
assuming Sheamus does not intervene, how do you book Reigns to beat R Brian without Reigns looking like a major heel? You've got to do it in a way where Daniel Bryan gets in plenty. You've got to actually make it look like Daniel Bryan is an obstacle for Roman Reigns. You've got to make it look like Roman Reigns has a struggle to beat a former world champion. You've got to make Roman Reigns look somewhat vulnerable, but not too vulnerable. You need to have him win in a way that actually tells a story instead of a bam, get beat down 90% of the match, miracle comeback out of nowhere, Super Cena Reigns Supreme type of finish. I mean, they could have Reigns win without looking like a major heel. Unfortunately, the hardcore fans might try to turn him into a major heel, even if the story doesn't necessitate it, even if the match booking and the match execution doesn't necessitate it. But it's all going to be about how that match is structured. And it's all going to be about what they do. And if anything, they need to have Daniel Bryan compensate by acting somewhat heelish himself. But the biggest thing that Roman Reigns could do to not look like a major heel is to produce and perform in this match. As I referenced a little earlier in this Q&A, this is a big moment. This is a big spot, a big feature platform for him to perform, to show what he can do. The best way to not look like a major heel is to go out there and kick ass on Sunday, plain and simple. Uh, True Speaker 795 how much sense does it make that the WWE keeps saying WWE Fastlane is the last stop before WrestleMania? I get what you're going for. <laughs> it is kind of ironic, isn't it? <laughs> that is kind of funny. <laughs> Larrikin underscore. Should Dusty prevent the match between Stardust and Goldust from happening on Sunday, withholding it until WrestleMania? Yes, maybe the American Dream come back and says, Gentlemen, if we're going to settle this, we're going to settle this on the grandest stage of them all. We're going to take Vince's idea, which was once my idea, and we're going to use that as a Rose Family Showcase, if you will. So... I would be okay with that. I'd love to see nothing more than that match get pushed back to WrestleMania, have them only touch the one time in a match at WrestleMania. But I just don't know how likely that's going to be. Uh, let's see here. Duke THS, should Stardust versus Goldust at Fastlane be special referee by Polka Dust? <laughs> American Dream. Yes, especially if he's got the nightstick and the fucking cups. From the big boss, man. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Polka dust. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Uh, let's see here. String Maker 4. How likely is it that Reigns and Brian both come out less popular after this stupid booking? Uh, very possible. Daniel Bryan fans won't want to admit this, but I've noticed a little less steam and a little less momentum and movement for the yes movement, if you will. It, the crowd's still behind them, but it's not with the same further, fervor, not with the same passion. It seems like the WWE is intentionally trying to divide the audience between the two, which I don't think is a particularly smart thing to do at this stage in time, especially when you're trying to establish and develop Reigns into a top guy. Uh, yeah, I think it's very possible that both of these guys could come out the worst for this. I really, really do. I think Reigns could come out bad for this because this could be creating a situation where he's seen a 2.0. From Daniel Bryan's standpoint, this could be less than beneficial for him as well. Uh, Matt Mefe 2, on a scale of 1 to the IWC, how stupid is the name Fastlane? People really don't like this Fastlane name. <laughs> Why is the IWC got to be the freaking end of the stupidity scale? <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty stupid. It's a name, so I mean, if we're being perfectly honest here, for everybody asking these fast lane name questions, pretty much any name that they would come up with would be stupid. How many of these names are we really going to like? I mean, we're kind of jaded, we're kind of cynical as hardcore fans anyway, so how much of this would we actually get behind? If they did come up with a really good name, we'd probably still poop on it. We'd still probably crap all over it. So what's the difference? Uh, Declan M57, what's smaller? Triple H's chances of getting a son, Rusev's chances of going over clean at Fastlane, or Seth Rollins' penis? Oh, baby. We went into the small... <laughs> the small, the microscopic, and the uber-microscopic there. Um, What's smaller? Uh... I guess you could say Rollins is probably more on the average size. Um, 
Rusev has a chance of going over at Fastlane, perhaps a good chance, uh, maybe even somewhat clean. Uh, so I've got to, based off of history, based off of pedigree, ugh, if you will, ugh. I think the smallest chance is Triple H having a son. He's 0 for 3. He's fucking struck out on the Sun Factory. You know, I think that's the smallest chance of happening is Triple H having a son because, let's face it, the Breakfast Club's track record of making babies is very estrogenal dominated if you get my drift. All right, let's see here. Prince of S2, how would you have fixed the booking of Roman Reigns for this match? Not having the match. Not having the feud with Daniel Bryan. If anything, I would have had him feud with Seth Rollins in the intermediary until he got to Lesnar at WrestleMania. I most certainly would not have put Roman Reigns in this situation against Daniel Bryan. If you're going to have him win the Rumble, then you fucking go there, and you don't bring that possibility back into the fold in Daniel Bryan, unless you're just completely idiotic and you want to fuck things up. That's the simple biggest thing I would have done, is I would have kept Roman Reigns as far the fuck away from Daniel Bryan as I possibly could. As far as I possibly could have. See so your miss or MIV Productions. Would you be happy if Goldust versus Stardust was at Fastlane and Goldust wins? So at WrestleMania, it's Cody Rhodes versus Goldust, and Cody wins there. Like I said, I'd rather just see them wrestle once at one big featured match at WrestleMania. But if that's what I got as I referenced earlier, I would be okay with that. I wouldn't have a problem with that. Uh, Ahmed underscore LW, what would your reaction be if Sheamus returns and bro kicks Daniel Bryan at Fastlane? <laughs> That'd be fucking awesome. All the Daniel Bryan fans would be so close. They'd be like, yes, yes, yes. And then all of a sudden here comes Sheamus to bro kick and bury his ass. Because <laughs> you know Sheamus is coming back and coming back heel and going to face Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania. You know how that's working out, and you most especially know how that's not working out for Daniel Bryan. I'd fucking laugh my ass off at it. And I'd also feel bad for the Daniel Bryan fans at the same time. Because I'd be like... You go from WrestleMania 30 to this the next year. <laughs> WWE, the ultimate trolls, saying, fuck you. <laughs> oh, man. So, anyways, thank you guys that submitted your WWE Fastlane questions. I'll be back Friday with the Facebook Friday Q&A. Make sure you check out this week's Raw review and check out some other great videos on this channel, as well as my appearance on the In the Rope show in my rant off against Matt. Make sure you check that out and let Matt know who the real rant-off king is. All right. See you later.